Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin, and today I'll be doing a reading for those of you with Sagittarius placements in your chart. So if you have Sagittarius anywhere within your chart, this reading can resonate with you. And if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator, Olo Dumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Ashu, Obatala, to the Egon Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florian Williams, Norman Williams, Exius Willie, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for those with Sagittarius placements in their chart. All right, guys, let's get into this reading. I got a lot of stuff out here for you. Um, I have your tarot in front of me. I am using the karma cards for your oracle cards. I also have some oracle cards from a spirit reading that I didn't get to record, but whose energy I could kind of see in the reading that I have right now. So let's just jump in. Your first and your last cards are, the first card is the eight of pentacles in reverse. And your last card is the six of cups in reverse. Okay, guys. So one of the things that this is uh, reminding you is two things. And this is another thing I'm feeling dualistic energy um, is that if you are focused too much focused on work or a particular project, don't forget to have fun. Six of cups. But this this is also saying that um, if you're not putting in enough energy into work, it could be because of some sort of internal disharmony. OK, something internally. Um, yes. OK, work is is a big deal. It's this is sort of and this was the card that I got from the reading that um, uh, uh, that I didn't get to record. I have this card paradox. OK, and it's really talking about like. Um, being comfortable with the negative aspects inside of you as well as the, the positive aspects you have. And um, I'm feeling like it's hard to figure out how much effort to put into something. Like, I don't know how much effort to put in. And then maybe that could cause the um, the disharmony or um, what am I trying to say? Or yeah, like either I put too little effort in and I'm, I'm anxious or I'm fearful or then I put too much effort in and then it drains my happiness. So you have to find a balance. You got to find some sort of middle ground balance because you can't keep going like this because at some point something's going to drop or you're going to get too tired. or You're not going to want to do something. OK. All right. So let's let's go into your first row and then we'll hit everything that I'm seeing. So, guys, bear with me. Be patient and thank you. All right. So we have the eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Six of Swords in the reverse. Ace of Pentacles in the upright and the star. I'm loving your last two cards, okay? Because really it tells me that um, God is gifting you with something uh, that is part of your destiny, okay? Something's coming that has to do with your destiny. It's a gift from God, whether this be money, a spiritual gift or an ability, but um, your destiny is definitely here in your first row, which is why it's important. Why it's important for you guys to stay focused. Okay. Now I always get um, cards of movement for you guys. Like the Six of Swords is movement. Now this is either actual movement, like you're moving somewhere, you're moving away, or this is moving up spiritually. Now I could definitely feel that with the Star and the Ace of Pentacles being in your. Um, the next two cards in your first row. Um, this could literally be like a promotion, um, a spiritual promotion, but then there's a trap, right? And the trap could be that, um, or what's stopping you from moving forward is the lack of energy you put forth in your spirituality or in your work, whatever that work is. You got to put more effort to attain this pinnacle that God wants to give you. Just a little bit more effort. It's, it's, it's really right there. It's right there. It just takes a little bit more. And it's really a part of your destiny. Okay? However you get gifted for that extra set of effort is going to really put you more in line to your destiny. Right? Um, but remember, for those of you who are working really hard, trying to see that blessing come, don't get out of balance. Don't um, get out of balance. Meaning like, those friends and family that you do want to be around, you should spend time with them and don't neglect them. Um, find find a way to like, you know, break the, the rhythm of work, 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 work. OK, so 
Let's get into your second row. Second row, we have the Six of Swords in the upright, Three of Wands in the upright, Knight of Swords in the upright, Four of Wands in the reverse, okay? We got more uh, movement energy. This sits actually right underneath the Six of Swords. Okay, so this is like, I can't move up, but then this is down here is talking about expanding. Now, whatever this expansion is, actually here, I'll show you. This is the challenge card here with the four of wands. It could be people. People, a situation that you thought was uh, something good because that sort of message was here. Like everything, you know, that you see is not all that great. Okay, um, people, a, a situation that you thought was good, not being so great. Okay, and this could be giving you some sort of fear. I'm really feeling fear with the Nine of Swords today with this. Now, I don't know if this is fear of movement, moving somewhere, um, or fear that someone could take something from you, okay? Like, with this Nine of Swords and this um, Four of Wands, I see it like this. I am want to expand. And I'm moving forward with force, whether this is your force or someone else's, because it could be someone else's force. Right. And because I'm trying to expand, whatever is threatening my foundation is causing me fear. Right now, if that's the case, what spirit is trying to tell you, because I have to write a note for this. Um, it's like you could have received some news. Definitely. Definitely. Um, with this Knight of Swords. You could have received some news uh, that provokes fear in you, but they're telling you don't act on the fear. Don't immediately start reacting with fear, okay? Um, if you do lose something that you could, you had no way of uh, fixing it or mitigating the problem, it's okay because there's blessings. There's a blessing that's coming from loss, but there's also a blessing and a reward for being brave, which I feel for the Knight of Swords. That brave action, being brave even while I'm afraid. Being brave while I'm afraid, okay? Um, this is also saying this isn't bad if you handle it the right way, okay? So things don't have to get that bad. Someone might not take something from you if you just handle it the right way. Um, really small things that came to my mind was like, I remember when um, I first realized I could change the date for my bills, okay? Like starting out, getting all my bills together and I would get so anxious, okay? Every time the first of the month would come. So then, you know, I can't remember who told me, you know, you know, you could call and change the date. And I was like, I could do that? Like I could actually move the date closer to when I get my next check and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of a feeling like that. Like if I just talk about it or explain it or get ahead of it, it doesn't have to get me. So if you know that there's something that um, ah, I didn't get this together, I didn't pay for it, I didn't um, fill out a form fast enough, well, reach out. Reach out and say, hey, whatever excuse or reason you could come up with uh, as to why, you know, something, whatever you're afraid of, but if you know you could fix it and you could say, hey, I could do this later or uh, can I change the date? Maybe it is a payment. Can I change the date for that payment? Can I can we lower the payment? Can I get smaller payments? That's if it has anything to do with money or just anything, like even if it has to do with moving. Um, hey, I, I'm ready to move. I know you want me to move on this date, but I can't for whatever reason. Is there any way you can accommodate me? for X, Y, and Z. Something just tells me, just be brave enough to ask, be brave enough to see, um, to not succumb to what you think is gonna be like damaging to your foundation, okay? All right, or like uh, threatening it, like, oh my gosh, I was doing so well and then this big thing I know is coming up soon or um, I got this letter about this thing and I think it's just gonna mess up everything. It might not, it might not. So be brave and be, be ready to face it, whatever that thing is, okay? Your last row, we have the two of wands, okay? We have the king of wands, the fool, and the six of cups, okay? All right, so two of wands, king of wands, fool, six of cups. Now, the uh, two cards that are in agreement with each other are the fool and the king of wands. So those of you who have taken the initiative, 
okay, and are doing your own thing, you're doing the right thing, okay? You're making a very radical move to be the boss. Uh, the funny thing about the two cards that corresponded are in the reverse are the two of wands and the six of wands. Now, the thing is, is that these are twos. There are two here and there's two wands here. And the two of wands could be saying anytime you have the number two, it's um, either bringing together a new idea along with something, prob probably planning to partner up with another person um, to do a particular thing. And what it's saying for me is you can do it on your own first. And I tell you guys this a lot because some of you guys really want to um, do things and collaborate with certain friends. And the thing is, I know we've been picking up a lot of negative friend energy, negative family energy, but maybe some of you guys have friends that you don't have issues with. Still doesn't mean you're supposed to work with them, okay? The longer, there is an energy here of... Um, don't like prolong something waiting for others or for other people to see your idea. Definitely don't do that. Um, th just the two cards that involve other people are in the reverse. But when, we, when I have this King of Wands alone with the Fool, it's good to me. Like something's good. This is just your season for change and just for you right now. Okay, things, there are other people to partner with. There are other people to help you along. But for those of you who are just at the beginning of your thing, like, or whatever, the beginning of your new idea, it's just you right now. Like, not the homies, okay? Because um, there's an energy of, when I put these two together, this person may seem like a good person to work with, but it wouldn't be a good idea. Even in the um, instance of a relationship, let me put these down for a second. There are cards that are hitting um, each other that aren't, like, in agreement, okay? See, because the King of Wands hits the Nine of Swords. And see, this could be saying that this is, the someone with King of Wands energy is causing me anxiety, right? Now, I don't know who this is in your life, whether it's a boss, uh, a male or female with just very strong, fiery energy, um, but this, or um, somebody you wanted to collaborate with, but it was a bad idea. That right here, they're hitting each other. Then the King of Wands, hits the Knight of Swords like this. This is a war right here. This is a war, right? So it might be better for you to just be the only king, right? Because when you st start dealing with a particular person in a, uh, in a certain way, it's not working out. Because I'm definitely feeling that energy um, right here at the top of the deck with the Four Cups, right? This person is sitting alone. Four of Cups is usually a card of solitude, a card of rejection. Like uh, if a proposal is made, that's somebody's going to say no, whether it's a proposal for money or, or a relationship. OK, and reason why that whether someone says no to you or you say no to somebody else, it is because of the direction you're headed. So don't take it so hard. Don't take it so hard because whatever you thought would be right could possibly take you off course. See, behind that is the Knight of Pentacles, which is being dedicated and moving forward. This is more that dualistic energy that I was talking about. Like, um, I don't even know how to explain it. It just like you, these two on a horse, one is moving forward, one is off course. What's that about? What is that about? And if it's, if it's not um, someone else outside of you causing you to go off course, it, this could be internal internal some days i'm dedicated and some days i am just so off now one thing huh, let me see do i want to talk about this um ancestral pattern before i speak on your other cards give me a second guys okay um yeah okay let me get your oracle cards first before i talk about that and i'll just get get it really fast this month is, uh, I think it's critical. This scorpion, the Scorpio uh, energy of death and rebirth. This is really the time to do it. I guess there's a lot more support for you when you put in those steps to change. Your very first card is um, eighth house. That's the house of Scorpio, right? And then your third card was Pluto. Pluto, 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 Pluto governs Scorpio. So that's two times, right? So your very first card says uh, personal power, the mysteries of life, major change um, as a life or death issue, getting and using power, 
use other people's resources. Okay, so I don't know, uh, you know this is eighth house energy. Eighth house energy is uh, your partner's resources, other people's resources, change. This is the energy that I was feeling about somebody coming to you for something, um, may wanna take something from you with this four of wands energy being the challenge energy in your second row. Even if it's family, it could be family, you know? They are the challenge of me expanding and growing or possibly moving, I don't know. I can't like they either need me or for some reason I can't get away from them. Right. Uh, so that's one thing. All right. So you need to rely on yourself. Personal power is what they're asking for in this card. OK, now and major changes are going to occur right now. Your second card is some some um, fire energy, which we, we do have a bit of that with the two of wands, king of wands, three of wands. All right. And the four of wands. So energies that meet. Energies to meet the challenge of. This is the energy you need to have when something's coming up against you. And I already told you the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands give me sort of a, a war or a clash, a clash of power, all right, between you and another person or you and others. There's a clash of power. So uh, your desires regarding this has to do with what you desire, okay, resulting from the honesty and strength of this is the, the push Okay, and the strength you need to get what you want done. Hold on. Yeah, willpower. What you think about, what you think you know about, what you think you know about, do it your own way. Mm. And really, right, willpower, do it your own way. This is the energy of the fool. Energy of the fool in your third row, S sitting out, okay? Do it your own way. So, uh, and you need willpower. Willpower if you're feeling lazy because uh, two of wands, King of Wands could also say, you need to put more effort into this idea. You need to put more effort in. So what, what it's going to take is willpower. Now, now I feel comfortable uh, moving over into your ancestral uh, issue. If you believe this is you, if you're resonating with this. The one thing that I see, really good thing that I see um, is... Who you are, sorry guys, I got a, uh, a puppy and he is, he's sleeping, but he's up and he's running over here, moving around on his couch. Um, the one thing that I see going vertically in two rows that really stood out to me was the star, the four of wands in the reverse, and the six of cups in the reverse, okay? Something, not only could it be family or a disharmony between family or some sort of relationship, but I'm really feeling family here. Um, it is that old uh, ancestral energies, negative energies are affecting the star, but you don't have to succumb to those things. You don't, this is why you shouldn't beat yourself up about certain characteristic traits that you have. Because no matter what, you're always the star. You're still the star. You're still the important one, the one that's breaking generational curses, the one that's gonna um, really uh, make it easier for your family or at least pave the way and show them how, okay? You, some of y'all don't even wanna deal with some people no more and that's fine. But at least if there are people uh, younger, okay? And they're looking to which family member did it? Who did the best? They can look to you. All right. And they would know a path. They would see a way. You know, sometimes it's really just seeing that somebody else did it that would make another person have the energy and the strength to do it. They may, may never speak to you, but just to know of you is enough. OK, just to know of you is enough. So that was the one thing. Then this was the other thing about like God here vertically. Again, we got the Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. OK, and the fool swift movement about radical ideas and thought blessings and gift. OK. All right. Things will be happening fast for you being um, different for you being different, you know, and being authentic. This is authenticity. You're going to be able to move quickly because of your authenticity. Now, when it comes to um, laziness or things that could be holding you back. The Paradox card, I got this card, Paradox, and I think I um, showed it to you earlier. I think I did, guys, because um, I'm talking a lot. I, I be forgetting sometimes what I show you guys. Um, the three cards that I got when I was about to do a spirit reading for you all was uh, Transmute, okay, Paradox, and Ancestors. Now, I've 
had transmute for you guys before. I definitely had um, ancestors, but then the card was paradox and that really stood out to me. So here, I'm going to read you paradox because it puts it all into perspective. So give me one second. Paradox. Paradox says, uh, give me one sec. It says, Carl Jung said, the paradox is one of the most valuable spiritual possessions. And for anyone who does shadow work, they know this to be true. But this can can also be difficult for many people. If we have been raised in a rigid environment where things are viewed as black and white, it may be hard for us to accept our flaws, let alone love them, okay? One of the best ways to slowly enter a relationship with our internal paradox is to remind ourselves that we did not create these things within us. We inherited them. It does not define us, and yet we are responsible for it. To work more deeply with the paradox, as you witness yourself throughout the day, identify what types of thoughts you have more, more of, positive or negative. From there, find the polar extreme. For example, maybe you thought, I am so fucking lazy. Acknowledge a couple things that make that true. Then find the polar opposite, i.e. hardworking and acknowledge a few things uh a few things or experiences that prove that you are hardworking. See, you can be lazy, but it's like when I get started, I, I make sure the job is done. I make sure it's thorough. And that's the other thing that Eight of uh, Pentacles is asking you to do is make sure you be thorough in whatever you do. Don't get lazy. But what could be causing you lazy is some sense of unhappiness or internal conflict, which is dun, 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 paradox. OK, right. So what, what it's trying to say with this transmute, transmute that energy. OK, because some of it does not belong to you. It came from your ancestors, which is exactly how I feel about the this row right here. The disharmony you may be feeling comes from us, but you're still the star. You're still the star. So um, don't be so hard on yourself. Don't let people talk you down, you know, or make you seem like, yeah, well, last time you tried that thing, it didn't work out. Or, you know, you usually are too lazy or, you know, how you really think you could um, finish this project or do what it is that you're trying to do. Yes, you can. You know, you can. OK, outside of that, too. Um, what else did I want to say about this? Just you. OK, so they say you're responsible for it. And it's true because, you know. It may be something inside of you, but you're acting on that thing inside of you. That's why it's like scan your thoughts, your negative and your positive thoughts. So for me, which is crazy, I'm not a morning person. OK, I'm not a morning person at all. And I am prone to laziness. I'm not going to lie. Me, my brother and my sister are. OK, and I think it comes from my dad. But don't tell him I said that. Um, I think it comes from my dad. And I know I am not a morning person. I don't like it at all. You know, like it's I like to get going on things when my body feels ready. But that's not, you know, good because things happen throughout the day when we're not ready. So I got to get up. I got to get up. I have to get out of my comfort zone. So one thing I did to get out of my comfort zone is I bought a puppy. So here, I'll show you guys. Guys, this is Rocco, okay? This is Rocco, my boxer. He's two months old. He's new to my um, my whole situation over here, this little family unit right here. But the thing is, is that I know for me, if I'm dealing with an animal, I'll get up and do what I have to do. I'll walk that animal, feed that animal, whatever it needs. And it's weird. It's like, if, it, if I'm thinking about myself, I'm thinking, ah, uh, it could be a little later. I'll push it off. But when I'm dealing with something else or someone else, I'm on it. So I said, OK, I have to trick my energy then. Right. I have to tell myself um, I have to give myself a reason to get up early. Right. And it's by using an animal. That's the way I'm getting around whatever this uh, internal energy is that's conflicting with what I'm trying to do. OK. And guys, definitely check your charts, because the other thing is. What even solidifies me knowing like I have this lazy thing. I have a lot of earth placements. OK, I got three uh, Capricorn placements in my ninth house. That's House of Sagittarius. Probably why I read for you guys all the time. Capricorn energy. I, I basically work for you. It was set up in my chart to work for Sagittarius and Sagittarian placements. Um, uh, rising sign is Taurus. Mars sign is in Taurus. So there is a lot of earth energy that could possibly slow me down or cause me conflict, but would allow me. Wow. He's peeing on the floor right now. You see, guys, what I'm going through, what I have to do just to be on top of everything. Um, 
the but the the earth energy allows me to be consistent okay consistent and um faithful to something all right to get certain things done in the material world right so know these things about yourself in order to get around them find a way to get around this energy whatever is stopping you um if it's a mental thing you know if there's a type of medication you feel like you need go get it like seek the help you need don't be ashamed don't be ashamed of anything that's happening in your life because it doesn't have anything to do with you, but it's actually affecting your actions and your choices. Just be honest with yourself, okay? Like, I remember another thing. I, I'm ADD. I have ADD, and I realized it uh, right after college, and I was aware of my moods and feelings when I was younger. I just didn't have, like, a name for it, okay? So you have to seek the help you need. You have to seek whatever help you need to get through whatever... Um, uh, DNA ancestral patterns that are within you, okay? Because right now, you have to transmute that energy. That's what's being asked. Transmute, okay? And and don't shame yourself about the, the, the shadow or dark aspects um, inside of you that you feel are holding you back. You can get around this energy. Um, just find your way that works. I'm using mine. You got to use yours. Uh, yeah, and your ancestors are here. They're letting you know it's, it's in our family. Okay. But you're the one star. You're the one that's going to take us there. You're going to revive the bloodline. Okay. You're going to break those blocks and people won't have to deal with the things, these things anymore. Okay. Cause you're capable. You're capable. You have, you're that star seed energy. Um, let me see if there was anything else that I wanted to tell you guys before I closed out. Uh, yeah, only that there could be a job offer or a proposal for a relationship. Uh, either you are going to reject it or someone else may reject it to you, but it is in your best interest probably to leave something alone. Leave it alone. Yeah, even for the fool and the four of wands being in the reverse is saying like, I do not want a relationship. Someone could very well be like, hey, I really want to be serious with you. And you were like, I'm not in the time or, or space for a relationship right now. So honor that, honor that, that you want to be on your own and want to be free. Because literally that's what this is. See, this would be a marriage gone wrong, no foundation. This person values their freedom, right? So um, if you know you're dealing with a person who really likes their freedom, let them have their freedom. If you know in this time and space right now, it's not a good time for a relationship for me, keep your freedom, okay? That is what I have for you. If it resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Um, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, the link to book is in the description box below. Um, the next group reading will be on November 15th at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time, and that will be on Zoom. But if you want access to that Zoom link, you have to join Patreon. A new updated playlist will be coming out shortly. I'll have that uh, out for you guys later today. So right now, the current playlist will probably be in the uh, description box below. But expect a new one today. Um, oh, I want to thank Anthony. Anthony, thank you for donating to the channel. Truly, truly do appreciate it. Thank you so much. And yeah, that's it. I think I, I, think I said everything. Enjoy your Monday, guys. I'll see you later.